and then the referee will say, come on, there. Don't please don't do anything, please. No. no keep, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> A moment worth reliving. Earlier this year, that was Jeff showing us how the ancient Japanese sport of sumo is making inroads here in the United States. And sumo is now in the spotlight as well at one of the hottest new restaurants in Tokyo, a venue with an international clientele and one month table wait. Lucy Kraft has the story. It's reservations only at this Tokyo restaurant but the customers aren't Japanese, and they're not here for the fried cutlets. The main dish is a pair of sumo wrestlers, among the most powerful athletes on Earth. These stomping humps of human granite weigh in at almost 300 pounds each. 34-year-old Chikyoryu, now retired, had a fighting weight of almost 400 pounds. Thanks to a Spartan regimen for building not just mass, but discipline and endurance. We slam into each other with no protective gear, he said. We get injured constantly. Jokyoryu and another veteran sumo, Matsuno Umi, work the crowd like seasoned Vegas entertainers. But their message is serious, to showcase the skill and cultural traditions of a 2,000-year-old martial art. Sumos pack the agility of a dancer with the explosive speed of a sprinter. When sumos collide, Joe Kyoryu said, it's like getting hit by a car. The impact force of crashing into a sumo is one ton, he said. Our body fat cushions us. This is an actual regulation-sized sumo ring, but unlike at a professional sumo match, here, spectators get a chance to climb into the ring and clash with the titans. Up against a massive sumo belly, boys bounce off like basketballs. Ellie Smith of Chandler, Arizona, also experienced the futility of trying to budge a sumo. They're definitely very strong, and you can't really just, like, throw them over it. It's hard to do that. Kunal and Rajni Kuman came from the UK. They're almost immovable, so... And was... he works out, and he's very <laughs> strong. <laughs> it's like moving a rock. A snapshot of Japan's world-famous, yet little-understood, cultural icon. <laughs> For CBS Saturday Morning, Lucy Kraft, Tokyo. Now that's a field trip, especially for you. <laughs> yeah, that, I would take that field trip for sure, as yeah. long as we all wrestle. <laughs> Some done. Real that done. Would be, when, would, when they pay for us to go there, done. We, do we some, will we all do wrestle. Some wrestling. Yes. There. there. Yeah. 